Hello friends, it's Amanda Bobbitt here, and I wanted to share with you what hydrogen can do in the body. So I'm gonna break it down step by step so you can actually really understand here what we have, the power of molecular hydrogen. So before I get started, I just wanna share with you my story and how I got involved in this. About 15 years ago, I was clinically obese. I had mercury poisoning, adrenal fatigue, and as a female, I'd lost my female cycle for eight entire years, and I was sick. Kept going to the doctors, they kept saying, here's a pill, I take the pill, there'd be a side effect, but I'd decide, hey, you know what, the doctor thing is not for me, I just kept getting more depressed and more overweight. So I had one glass 15 years ago of hydrogen-rich water, and my whole life changed, literally. I feel like a sheet had been lifted off my head, I had mental clarity, focus that I hadn't had in, I couldn't even remember how long. I felt on fire, I had my energy back, started losing weight. I was traveling all around the world, helping people one glass at a time. And so now I have my own company here, Healthy Hydration, and we have this hydrogen water device here called the Hydro Deluxe. I'm gonna kinda show you what it can do and what the difference is between hydrogen water and tap water. All right, so what I wanna do here is I wanna tell you about what happens with our bodies and our cells. So in our bodies, we have about 70 to 100 trillion cells. Our cells make tissues, which make organs and hormone systems, and they group together. And every single day, our cells are bombarded with free radicals. So free radicals come from our environment, they're toxins. We have our cell phones, our microwaves, our TVs, our radios, our computers. These little free radicals are everywhere. And they come in our body and they start to damage and create oxidation at a cellular level. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna draw you a little picture. So here we have a cell. So we have 170 to 100 trillion cells. So each of our cells has one thing in common. We all have this membrane on the outside. This is called a phospholipid bilayer. So in a healthy cell, water, oxygen, nutrients, and hormones are able to get into the cell, burn it as energy, and then that waste like carbon dioxide can leave the cell. That's healthy. Now we have the free radicals coming in the body and they're gonna create oxidation, aging. So they're gonna come to your weakest link so think about in your body where you're having issues. Maybe it's the brain, maybe it's the liver, maybe it's the kidneys, maybe it's your eye cells. So those free radicals are gonna to go to your weakest link and they're gonna to start to oxidize the cell. So now that cell, instead of being semi-permeable to allow things in and out, it becomes thick and sticky. So now water has a hard time getting oxygen, nutrients, and hormones, and inside of our cells becomes very sick very acidic and very dehydrated. And now nothing can really get in, nothing can get out. Now let's just imagine this cell became cancerous or this cell had diabetes. So this is the mother cell. And what's gonna happen is a process called mitosis where the mother cell is split apart and you're gonna create two more identical daughter cells. So if you had one cell that had cancer, diabetes, and you have two. Those two make two more and two more and two more, and oh, we have a new kidney. But it's a copy of a copy of a copy. So what this molecular hydrogen gas has been shown to do in many different studies and research is reduce oxidation. So what it's gonna do is gonna come in here and it's a smart antioxidant. Unlike vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A, it's very selective. So it knows where to go in your body and it's gonna start to break down this membrane of fat that used to be thick and sticky. And now it's becoming more semi-permeable again. The more you drink, the better you feel. And so now what's gonna happen is the water's gonna go in, oxygen, nutrients, and hormones. And when it divides in half, makes the daughter cells, you become a healthier and a healthier and a healthier version of yourself. So imagine for me for one minute, if you had diabetes, for instance, your brain sends a signal that says, hey, there's insulin going out in the blood, it's gotta make it to the pancreas. But if the pancreas cells are oxidized, the insulin has a hard time getting in. And so the, the cells tells the signal to the brain, says, I never got the insulin, where is it at? and then your body sends more insulin out into the blood and then your cells again confused and now you have imbalance of blood sugar levels that leads to diabetes. So the simplest, most powerful thing you can do for health every day is to drink hydrogen rich water because it has a way of helping your body balance itself. The water is just a tool, your body is the miracle. So what I'm gonna do here is this is the Hydro Deluxe and I'm simply gonna take water from this source and water from our tap and I wanna show you. Okay, so this is the tap water. And this is the hydrogen water. And so this deluxe unit here has been certified to the standards of the International Hydrogen Association. It'll get up to about 3.0 parts per million of hydrogen gas. The therapeutic level is about 0.5. So we have our tap water here, we have hydrogen water here. 
And then we have hydrogen drops. These are hydrogen blue drops. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a couple in here. And if there is molecular hydrogen, not just H2O, but molecular hydrogen that's infused in the water, it's gonna be clear. Okay, so you can see it there, it's blue. Now the hydrogen water here, you can see it's able to go in and voila, you see that it's clear. So that is the difference between tap water with no molecular hydrogen, no antioxidants, and you have a hydrogen water. So if you're into one thing for your health, this would be unequivocally the best thing you can do. There's no toxicity at any amount. It's gonna help your body balance. It's safe for all. So you didn't worry babies, pets, it doesn't matter, it's safe for all. You can drink it, you can breathe it, you can soak in it, and you can even put it intravenously. 3,000 studies behind it, 170 different disease models has been proven on. And so it's kind of like, well, you can go to the doctor and get a diabetic pill, or you can have something in your body that's able to go in your body and help prevent over 170 different diseases. I don't know about you, but it's pretty simple and there's no toxic side effects. And your body makes hydrogen when you eat fiber. So it's something your body naturally knows and uses. So I hope that helps you a little bit, understand a little bit more about what hydrogen can do in the body. Thank you so much and visit healthyhydration.com for more info.